30 days of taking cold showers for me was absolutely terrible, awful, miserable, and really cold. And if I'm just keeping it a buck with y'all, it really sucked. It really did. But yes, there's always a but. At the same time, it was also life changing, but not life changing in the ways that you would think about. It wasn't the typical benefits that you think you get when you go on Google and you search for benefits of cold shower. I didn't get those. I got some rather... Mm, unexpected benefits, but I do think these benefits are what make taking cold showers worth it. My name's Glasgow, I love self-improvement, but we are gonna dive right into it right now. So as I mentioned about 30 seconds ago, I let you guys know that I did cold showers for 30 days, and you're probably sitting over there thinking like, Glass, why the hell would you do that? What's the point of that? And to be honest with you, it was really just to see if I could push myself out of my comfort zone and to see if the benefits that I saw online were really true. Seriously, if you go on Google right now and type in benefits of cold showers, you're gonna see some wild shit. I mean, there's all, just all types of crazy stuff. And I'll just be, I'll keep it real with y'all. I didn't get a lot of those crazy benefits that I saw online, but like I said earlier, I did get some unexpected benefits that I really enjoy. The first benefit was cold showers help you realize you're stronger than you think. Now, originally when I started out with this experiment, I didn't go into it thinking, I'm gonna get so mentally tough. I'm looking for mental toughness. No, that's not how it happened. But let me tell you, when you take cold showers for 30 days, you definitely get mentally tough. It was crazy because I didn't expect my mind to really just fight so hard against me, just stepping foot into a shower, just stepping my body into a cold shower. I didn't expect to fight it so hard, but literally my body fought it with everything it had. It did not want me to do it. And I thought that the longer I did the experiment, maybe a week or two weeks in, it would get easier, but it really never did. Honestly, it got a little bit more digestible, but it never really got easy. But you know what? I'm kind of thankful for that because Honestly, we just have so much crap thrown at us every day. We got all this crap. Look at the crypto market is crashing. We got all this stuff we got to deal with in life. And I really do think people that have mental toughness have an edge over everybody else. I mean, if you really think about it, somebody that can get up and do something that they know they hate, they literally know they hate it. It makes their body cringe and they can get up and do that every single day. That's a tough mother you know, I ain't gonna say it, but that's a, that's, a, that's a badass man. That's a badass boy. And honestly, I think I was able to take that toughness, that mental toughness into a lot of other areas of my life. I think I was just, when it came to doing stuff I didn't want to do besides the cold showers, I was just a lot less whiny about it. I just didn't hesitate as much when it came to doing it. Like I just got up and did it. I learned to just do the hard things and do the things I didn't want to do, even if it meant it might cause me a little bit of temporary pain. I just got used to doing the things that needed to be done. And the main reason for that is because I really do think I had already gotten my ass kicked by getting in that cold shower every morning. So anything else I faced after that was easy. But that leads me really nicely into my next point. Cold showers make you feel like you can conquer the world. Look, man, there's something enthralling about conquering your worst fear in the beginning of the day, conquering something that you hate to do in the beginning of the day. I mean, seriously, who wouldn't want to start out their day like that? Who wouldn't want to start out with that type of energy? Think about it like this. For people usually to be successful, it takes them stepping out of their comfort zone and doing something they're not used to doing. But if you look at today's society, we see a lot of people, they aren't successful. They aren't doing what they love. They don't have the job they love. They don't have the girl that they want. And I really do believe it's because they are too afraid to step out of their comfort zone. They are too comfortable where they're at. They're not willing to try something new. They're not willing to do something new to get to the goals that they say they want. And something else to point out, I really do believe stepping out of your comfort zone is an art. It's a skill. And if you look at the people who have been successful, I think they have slowly started to master that skill of stepping out of their comfort zone or stepping out of the box or thinking outside of the box. And that's why I love cold showers, because when you hop in that water, it's going to punch you square in the face. It's going to literally kick you out of that comfort zone, kick you out of your little comfort box right in the beginning of the day. I mean, seriously, from the moment you wake up, that cold water hits your body, you are immediately uncomfortable. You are literally, I mean, you, it couldn't get, it couldn't get any less uncomfortable for right there. But you know what? You're woken up. You already did it. You guys ever heard of the saying, eat the frog? I, I know that's kind of nasty because frogs are gross and who wants to eat a frog? I've never done it. I know some people do that, but I don't do that. But if you ever heard of that saying, it's basically saying like, get up and do the hard things first. Metaphorically, what it's supposed to mean is eating a frog in the beginning of the day will be the most disgusting thing that you eat all day. And if you eat the most disgusting thing that you'll eat all day right at the beginning, guess what? Everything else will taste like a gourmet meal. Everything else will taste delicious. It tastes like fried chicken. It tastes like watermelon. It tastes like uh, gumbo. It tastes like, you know, anything. It tastes delicious. It tastes better than the frog, that's for sure. I know I'm rambling, but the point is if you can get up, hop in that cold shower, and immediately get uncomfortable, the moment you start going through your day, nothing is going to be able to knock you off your path. Nothing is going to make you feel uncomfortable. 
That is one of the benefits uh, of doing these cold showers, and I really appreciated that and enjoyed it. The next unexpected benefit is that cold showers remind you that your feelings are not necessarily reality. Here's the thing, your brain is literally designed to push you in the direction of safety and comfort. It does not want you to be uncomfortable ever. And the worst part is the brain will take extreme measures to make sure you stay in that zone of comfortability. It really will. I mean, the brain gonna start sending you fear. It's gonna be like, hey, glass. I don't know, man. You know you're scared of that water, man. You know you're scared of bathrooms. Hey, Glass, you're not feeling a little nervous? That water going to be a little cold. Hey, Glass, you, you sure you got to do this today? I mean, we, don't, we can skip it today. If you really don't want to, we ain't got to. It's just really crazy all the little tricks that the brain will do to try to get you to stay in that comfort zone. Just start whispering at you. Just start telling you all type of stuff to get you to go off the path that you know you need to go on. The brain will do it to you like that if you let it. But what's crazy about that whole thing is no matter how much kicking and screaming my brain did to make me not do those cold showers, I did them anyway. And yeah, in the beginning, it sucked. But after a while, it got a little better. It got, I'm not going to say enjoyable, but it got better. And I really liked the benefits that I was getting afterwards to the point that I started to maybe even look forward to taking cold showers. Or maybe after a stressful day, I would hop in and do an extra cold shower because I know how it made me feel afterwards. Again, it was just crazy to see how the brain made all this fuss over something that it thought I would hate, but ended up being one of the best things that I ever did. One of the most healthy things I had ever did. Something that I'll probably continue for a very long time in my life. My brain made all that fuss. And it just goes to show you that when you get up and you're having this unwanted feeling or this unwanted emotion or you don't feel like going to the gym or you don't feel like putting in that extra work and you don't feel like doing that extra call, you don't have to listen. Those feelings aren't necessarily reality. Those feelings don't necessarily have to stop you from taking action. You can still take action despite your feelings. And I think that's really the lesson that I got away from these cold showers. The fact is a lot of great things are on the other side of your feelings. So get out of them. And then lastly, cold showers are great for hangovers. Look, I know that's kind of a funny thing. And, and, and I am, it is funny in a way, but I'm being serious. Look, I'm, I'm older. I'm 31. I'm 31. I, I don't drink a lot, but when I drink, my old ass gets hangovers. I be getting, hang, I, I be getting hangovers. And I, it don't feel good. And I cannot bounce back like I used to. So long story short, I got hungover during my 30 days of doing these cold showers. And I was just thinking to myself, like, dang, okay. If a cold shower makes me feel better on a regular day, like what would it do if I have a hangover? So I just decided to do it. And what do you know? It worked. I was like, whoa, this this actually I feel a lot better. And I don't, I don't know the exact science of it. I think it has something to do with it constricting your blood vessels. It probably feels something like an ice bath. And as an athlete, I took a lot of ice baths and you just feel better. after that. Your body just feels better after after doing things like that. But all I know is I took that cold shower and my hangovers started to, to at least subside a little bit. They felt a lot better than, than if I hadn't done it. Like I said, I'm gonna let the scientists handle all that. I don't know the exact science of why, I just know that I did it a couple times and it worked. So I'm gonna put it on here. Cold showers help with hangovers. There you go, breaking discovery. But anyway guys, those are the unexpected benefits of doing cold showers. And honestly, if you haven't tried to do a cold shower, I definitely recommend it. It's definitely worth a try. The benefits could be worth it for you. But as always guys, if you found value in this video, do your boy a favor. Help me out. I'm trying to go to the channel. Go ahead and hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, join the gang, gang, gang. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. You know what it is. Your boy Glasses out. Peace.